Hi guys, so we are at the second to last video before you're done for the year. And today we are gonna talk about purgatory. Purgatory is one of the most confused um, beliefs of the Catholic faith. In the Catechism of the Catholic Church, what it tells us, you know, Catechism of the Catholic Church is our rule book basically. All who die in God's grace, but still imperfectly purified, are indeed assured of their eternal salvation. But after death, they undergo, undergo purification so as to achieve holiness necessary to enter the joy of heaven. The Catechism of the Catholic Church tells us those we know Christ came to save us from our sins. We know that. But we also know that scripture tells us that nothing unclean shall enter heaven. Revelations 21 verse 27 tells us nothing un unclean will enter heaven. We all carry around sin. We all carry around sin. Some of the sins we're aware of, some of the sins we're not aware of. And we must be made clean. We must be purged of sin. That's where we get the word purgatory before we can be with God. So let's imagine um, a person. I'm going to call him Bob. And Bob was, you know, he had a, he had a wife. He had five, five children. He loved them so much. He raised them to know God. He raised them to do um, works of charity, to be with widows and orphans and feed the poor. He worshiped God. He told others about God. However, Bob lived, you know, a thousand years ago. Bob owned slaves. Bob beat the slaves when they weren't doing what they were supposed to do, as was customary with that time period. Bob also would beat his wife because Bob was expected to keep his family behaving a certain way. So what happens with Bob? Are, are we, we know that Christ came to save us from our sins, and he did, and Christ's sacrifice on the cross was perfect. But what do we do in these situations where we screw up? Um, Bob owned another person. He beat another person and he beat his wife. So what do we do with that? That's where this final process of purification comes in. There are certain things that the church teaches us about this purging process, this purification process. The first thing it happens after death. When? How long does it take? I don't know. We don't know. I can't, I can't tell you how long of a process that's gonna be. But it happens after death. The thing is, is God is not bound up by time the same way we are. God is not of this universe. Time is something that helps us. It's a unit of measurement that helps us monitor change. That's all time is. God's not bound by that. So at your death, it could be instantaneous, but we don't know for sure. The second thing that we believe is that purgatory is gonna hurt a little bit because like the story that I'm telling you of some made up guy named Bob, he may not have seen it as, you know, he probably very likely if he was a thousand years ago would not have seen it as anything negative to beat his wife, to get her to behave the way that he expected her to behave or to beat a, beat a slave the same way that, um, you know, to keep them in line. It would not have been viewed as a sin because women and slaves were not really viewed as people back then, but we know from a human dignity standpoint, especially now, that yes, that is not appropriate to treat people that way. So what would happen in those situations when you're in purgatory, if you carried around a sin that you didn't know was a sin, you will become aware of it and you will feel the pain that you caused from that sin. I wanna to read to you now 1 Corinthians chapter three to kind of explain this further. If anyone builds on this foundation with gold, silver, precious stone, wood, hay, or straw, the work of each one will come to light, for the day will disclose it, and the day here is talking about Judgment Day. It will be revealed with fire, and the fire itself will test the quality of each one's work. If the work stands that someone built up the foundation, that person will receive a wage. But if someone's work is burned up, that one will suffer loss. The person will be saved, okay? The person will be saved, but only as through fire. Now, this is what we talk about when we talk about the that purging process. I'm aware of a lot of the sins that I've committed and I, I try my hardest to not repeat those sins. But there are also a lot of sins that I'm probably not aware of, ways that I've hurt other people and I'm completely oblivious to it. When we're experiencing purgatory, 
we are experiencing this moment of clarity and it's not going to feel great. Just like how they're talking about how this person had gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, and straw. That's talking about that person's life. In our lives, we have some really good parts of our lives, which would be compared to as the metal. And then we have kind of crappy parts of our life that would be compared to the straw. And when we're talking about this purging and fire, the straw will be burnt up. Okay, that portion of our life will not go with us to be with God. I want to look at this from a different perspective also. I suffer from severe anxiety. I have been an anxious person for a long time. I've had some things happen to me when I was younger, and I have very severe anxiety. These are also things that will be scrubbed clean before moving on to get to be with God in this purging process. So purgatory is not a place as much as it is a transition to going to be with God, this cleaning up. So finally, I want to I want you to picture yourself on a really special day, whether it's your your first day at your absolute dream job or your wedding day, and I want you to picture yourself dirty, covered in mud. More than likely, before you go to this very special day, you're going to be like, please just let me clean myself up. I don't want to present myself this way. That is what purgatory is. We are going to be with God and right now we're covered in mud and if anybody thinks that they are currently like yes we are made perfect in Christ but this is this purgatory is this process of, of, of being made perfect in Christ so imagine yourself as you are and each and every one of us is probably looking for that very special moment of like clean me up <laughs> you know I don't want to go I don't want to experience this this next this rejoining with God with all of these things I'm carrying around. And so that is it. Now, as your writing prompt, I want you to either you can ask questions regarding purgatory, but I want you to explain back to me um, your understanding of what purgatory is, because I think some of the important things that we need to, we need to know Purgatory does not, it's not like a holding cell. You're not being trapped in a little box like, help, let me out. You're not being stuck in a little box. You're just being cleaned up. Okay? And we do understand that. So you can explain it back to me. You can ask questions. And that is it. You will have one more video after this, and then we're done with the year. I hope everybody has a great week.